0.32. Well, they'll have a nervous wait. May well be okay, but the unknown of the swimmer without an entry time in that outside lane. Kill nothing in. We'll see what happens. Well, we have seen a few surprises from uh, swimmers entering races without entry times and, and winning medals from outside lanes. So uh, it will be a nervous and anxious wait for uh, Andre Gladkov for the next three minutes. What's this young man going to do? Carlos Serrano Zarate. Colombians in our hotel. We speaking to them the other day. They are uh, very happy. Small group of swimmers. They have some real quality, especially in breaststroke. Carlos Serrati, of course, setting the world record recently in the Rio test event. The test event for the Paralympic Games. And next to him, of course, is uh, Nelson Crispin. Two great breaststrokers. We'll see them in the breaststroke events later on this week, which will be their specialities. Moses Quintes as well with them. Three strong Colombian team. And they could be very successful here in the, in the open events. As you say, Paul, yeah, they have got, they're small in numbers, but they, they do punch above their weight. And, but we'll see, Paul, as I go go out on the fly. He's a very strong butterfly and backstroke swimmer. He's a strong breaststroke swimmer as well, but when we come on to that breaststroke leg, Carlos Serrano Zarate does have the advantage because he's actually an SP7 on breaststroke, whereas Giovanni Boradeco is a six, so he'll lose that advantage, but he is a fantastic breaststroker, so he'll be looking to take it out as much as he can, maybe not so much in this heat, but tonight in the final we'll see him really attack that first hundred so that Carlos Serrano Zarate has to chase him down on that breaststroke leg. Of course, that's trouble chasing down on the breaststroke leg because when you get onto the freestyle, if you've done all that work getting back on level terms, you've still got 50 freestyle to go. That was always my problem, Paul. <laughs> Johnson charges through the field on the breaststroke and that's all over. <laughs> Pretty much. There's not a lot of charging going on here from uh, Oedaiko. This is very comfortable for him this morning. Serrano Zarate, four seconds down. Sinovsic from Croatia in third place, but here is the breaststroke world record holder now. Pulling back on Yevgeny Bodaiko from Ukraine. Let's see if he can get back on terms with the Ukrainian. It's a tight contest for third at the moment as this battle for first and second goes on. Four swimmers all in a row battling for the third position, but Carlos Serrano Zarate coming back, just about getting on level terms with Yevgeny Bodaiko now. Now his, his energy levels after that one, a roll of momentum, carry him onto the freestyle. Still looks strong, Liz. Good leg kick from the Colombian. He does, and at this point, they're both safe tonight, providing they don't get disqualified for a position in the final. So it's a question of. Do you see what you've got in the tank and go for the win, or do you just do what Boadaiko seems to be doing and ease off and take this freestyle leg easy and save yourself for the race that's obviously going to be there this evening? Well, he's going to be probably just a touch faster than the first heat to buy his pull up. A few seconds in it, actually, as he uh, it's a very strong freestyle there. 242.39 Boadaiko eases his way in there in a 2.48, some 15 seconds slower than his world record time. And that's the swimmers come in, Sukarev and Ponce Bertrand, 2.57. So Andre Gladkov will be safe from the first heat in a fourth position. But there is the young man, Carlos Serrano Zarate, just 17 years of age, burst onto the scene last year in the Glasgow World Championship, superb swim in that 100 breaststroke. Yes, the Colombians had a brilliant World Championships and they seem to have used it as a platform for this year because as we saw at the uh, Rio Open, they're both in fine form already. And there is Colombia near centre lane. Very strong. That's a fantastic breaststroke, isn't it? 
they both actually got brilliant breaststrokes. It's just as we said, there's that classification discrepancy that does occur in the uh, medley races, and it was a telling tale there. Could be an interesting final. I wonder if Carlos Solano Zarati will go a little bit quicker. He has gone four seconds quicker already this year, so you might expect him to go under the 240 mark. Boa Daiko certainly will go under the 240 mark, I'm sure the world record holder is second place in that heat number two. Solano Zarati.